Okay, so in this last um, module, I'd like to cover design or file management and then saving out. And we're going to do that in two separate ones. So this first one is file management. So design file management um, can be a little bit tricky because you're generally working on multiple iterations of design. Maybe you have different team members working on designs um, and it can kind of get confusing, especially if you're like, this is my Instagram post versus my Instagram story. Like you have a bunch of different sizes going on and you can't do that all in one file. So I just want to show you a couple of different ways that I've found that have helped clients and that I kind of use to organize it. So for me, especially if I'm in here in Canva doing social media, I like to create a folder for each month that I'm working on social media. And then I am just going to go ahead and like work through like each design, um, for social media, basically. And it's all going to be in one folder unless sometimes I have specific posts that I'm working on. Um, like this was a soft launch for that was like a story and it has animation to it. Um, if it has animation to it, I tend to do those separately. I just call them whatever it is. So like that was the soft launch um, for a course, this course actually. Um, and I will put those in separate, uh, like in a separate file, like actual design. Um, and then if I have like posts like this, for example, then I, um, I put them all kind of in one running thing. And this is just for December. And then I will do another one, like same concept. I'll do another one for January. So that's how I do it. And then I just have a general social media, um, post that's maybe like, that's housing all of these. Um, and so I can go in and see what's happening in December. Um, and then I can do ones for January. That helps me keep on track with what I've already done and which month it goes in. And then it doesn't mean that I have one big social media folder with a bunch of different stuff in it. And I don't know when I'm posting things or what I wanted to post things. Another thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that the, like immediately when I open something, I rename it. So this is December and it's Instagram posts. It's not Instagram stories, it's Instagram posts. Um, and so that's what I like to do to make sure that even if it's auto saving, at least I knew what I was working on and I don't have to figure it out by going back um, to the home screen and looking at my most recent designs. So that's something that I would just add into your workflow, open up a new design, rename it immediately and already have your social media posts or whatever you're working on. So if it's social media or if it's course content or if it's freebies, just have that already set up to go in whatever way like that you're going to do it. Like I said, for me, I really benefit from doing this in like monthly buckets. Um, because then I can just add in, like, if I want to, I can add in an extra folder where I'm like, here's all the images that I'm adding for my stories, or here's all the images that I'm adding into my posts. Um, and I can just house it all in one place. And then I just have it ready to pull into my designs. Um, so that's something that I would really recommend you do decide whatever that, um, convention is as far as setting up folders and setting up designs and then I would move forward with that if you star and unstar these they will show up in your left hand toolbar on your home screen um, but you can always get to them starred or not in the folder section here you can just always open up whatever your new folder is here so I hope that that helps um, it can be difficult to manage sometime, but again, like, especially if I'm going to resize this to like an Instagram story, I'm going to copy it and resize it. And now it's an Instagram story. And then I can just go ahead and resize this to whatever feels good for me and for the content. So maybe it feels better for me if I bring this down and I can just kind of run that off. Um, so again, it's going to do its best to resize that content for you, but I've now saved this as the December 2020, 
21 IG stories and I can go back to my home screen and then I can just, because these are now showing up in my left hand toolbar, um, bear with it. It's going to take a minute to figure itself out. <laughs> Um, and that's why I like to rename my files immediately because Canva takes a minute as far as like renaming things when it's saving stuff, it doesn't always show up immediately. Um, so I'm probably going to have to refresh this a couple of times. And in the meantime, I'm probably going to forget or get distracted by something that I'm doing and forget to go back and actually put this in the folder that it belongs in. So again, like some of this is just trying to like manage yourself. So now this is my December, 2021 Instagram stories. Um, as opposed to the Instagram posts that I have. Um, and so that's kind of how I would like to work or I suggest that you work with Canva as far as like creating files and managing files and all that good stuff. 